Good day, hi, and welcome. All right, it's almost 3.30 in the afternoon or three o'clock in the afternoon, whatever it is. Uh, sun's starting to go down here in Western Quebec. I'm up on the hardwood hill here, just love it up here. I haven't been up here in about two and a half years. I just had not had the time. And so much has happened in the last past two and a half years. Uh, you know, you kind of forget about stuff like this and about when you return to it. Boy, what a treat. Um, got my self-defense wild chicken cannon with me. Loaded with some number seven. So I was hoping to get another couple of wild chickens before the uh, end of the season, which is about two weeks for wild chickens. Basically, uh, December 31st. I love these old lime rocks. My favorite rock in the world is right there. I always wanted my mom to, God bless her soul, uh, to be able to paint that rock. And I took a picture of it. She says, why do you want me to paint the rock? I said, I like it. <laughs> That's stupid. I said, it's a rock. I said, yeah, but it's, 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 <laughs> I like it, right? That's my favorite rock right there. And uh, I've loved it since I was a kid. It's a big boulder stuck, kind of split in half there. Uh, yeah, and it's really cool. It's really cool. We'll, we'll journey up there one day and maybe have a better look at it again. So, yeah, so it's it's that time of the season. We've got two feet of snow coming tomorrow. Uh, so that will be definitely the Christmas snow. And uh, I think that snow is going to be here to stay. So it's going to be nasty. But uh, I do plan on getting up here as much as I can this winter. But it is very labor intensive walking through the bush, you know, especially at, you know, like I'm, I'm nearly 50, like, and I'm pretty good shape for a 50 year old, but when you don't do this every day, it's like last night, uh, last pass, cause I've been out on the trap line, my, my legs are starting to get sore again at night, where it's like, you, you know, like you're like, you know, like, cause you're using muscles that you don't normally use all the time. Right. So I'm a very active person. So it takes me about a week before the soreness doesn't happen at all, but Fatigue gets you walking through the bush every day for like three or four months, five months, whatever it is, the winter uh, on the trap line. Uh, your fatigue will get, you know, your, your legs are just one day going to be so sore for no reason. So you do have to know how to pace yourself getting through the bush, uh, regardless of your age. Uh, here's the tree stand where I shot Spiky the Terrible. It's the only buck I ever shot, but I shot him good. Watched him for about 20 minutes coming up from here. He was following a doe and the doe got him killed. The doe stopped right in front of my stand, turned, like facing him, looked at me, looked at him, looked at me, looked at him. Uh, more or less I said, can you shoot this bastard? He's been bugging me all the time. So she got him killed anyway, but he was good eating. Yeah, that was Spiky the Terrible. He was an awesome little deer. Could have shot him like 10 times and it was the last day of hunting season. And it was like, there was like, about an hour left and I was like well I'm not going home without meat in the freezer so I wanted a 24 point buck holy geez look at that tree stand up there that must be my cousin I've never seen that one before I'll have to try that one Ooh, might have a wolf sniping spot uh mind you if it's built by my cousin uh my cousin builds tree stands that will test the bravery and courage of Hercules because they're always usually pretty darn sketch. So I'll try it anyway. But uh, yeah, like I mean, I mean, the good news is you'll end up on the ground no matter what. So you'll be safe and sound on the ground. You might die in the fall, but you know, when you get there, but at least you'll be on the ground where we can find you. So I'll have to chase. That one's way up the hill, too. Uh, yeah, I'd put it all the way up there. All right, okay. But yeah, that's a that's a wolf sniping spot. I wonder when he built that. Must have built it in the last past two years. I've never seen that one before. That's like almost at the very top of the property too. It's like, I want to be on top of Mount Olympus. There you go. 1200, that top, top peak up there is 1250 feet above sea level. That's tall, that's high. Yeah, so. But I love it up here, it's pretty nice. There's nothing like a nice hardwood bush. Like uh, in the daytime uh, when it's snow and it's all sunny up here and, and there's like no wind and it's so calm, you know, you'll see like eagles flying above you, golden eagles and king eagles and all that. And 
yellow winged hawks and those things are really cool because they're about the size of an eagle yeah that's what I like well I don't think I'm gonna get a wild chicken today guys but these had fun tramping around in the bush hope you guys enjoyed the little thing you're gonna see more trapping stuff very soon uh, I'm still gonna wait another probably week before I start throwing the traps in I want to make sure like I say those beaver pelts and everything are as prime as possible considering the fur trade prices I want to be I want to be the guy that they always give more than average to uh, oh we've got another tree troll over there just a small one though I don't know if you guys can see him or not you can get a good good view of them check out the tree troll oh something coming through here some deer digging away bucks digging away a couple of buck rubs there's a tree troll yeah so i talked about the tree troll in the, one of the last uh, few episodes so hope you enjoyed that so we've got a couple of tree trolls on the property and that's one